can I share with you something really exciting? Lauren Gray and I have spent today planning the agenda for next Friday's Alchemy of Touch workshop for yoga teachers. This is a day long workshop next Friday and it is so juicy. We still have a couple of spots available. So if you want to join us, this is what you can expect in the day. I'm gonna have to read it. <laughs> So we're kicking off at 9.30 with our opening circle and a really, really interesting ritual for getting you to connect with your heart space and your hands as tools of the heart. Then you're going to be coming into a yoga practice movement flow with me on reclaiming your hands and connecting with your hands. Then at 10.30, Lauren is going to be leading you through a pressure point massage series that you can do on yourself, but you could also directly share the very next day with your yoga students and we know they will love it. Then cup of tea, who doesn't need a cup of tea? Before a brief theory session with me on the koshas, the different layers of the subtle body. Then we'll come into a touch-based exercise when you will feel how to touch the different layers from the physical body, the breath body, the energetic body, the mind body, and really even to how we touch at a soul level. After that, we will be um, going into a little bit more practical theory, covering first the golden rules of touch, so you know the why and is it appropriate and the kindness with which you're sharing touch in class. Then also the golden rules on how you come into a student's space, how you really work at the highest level. We'll be exploring this in everyday yoga poses so you can implement what you learn immediately. So in Downward Facing Dog, in Warrior Two, in Trikonasana, in Camel, in Paschimottanasana. Then it will be time for lunch. <laughs> After lunch, it will be into the theory of the pancha koshas as we really move into assisting at an energetic level. So the pancha vayus is the movement of energy through the body. Lauren will share with you a moving meditation on the pancha vayus so you can really feel and embody this. After that will be some small group work where you're going to be looking intuitively at how energy is flowing in your students and learning more intuitive assists. Then there'll be a small section on how do we assist more advanced poses and what is the place for that? Why would you want to do that? So for instance, in retreats, one-to-one, -one, on workshops, when you want to use your hands to encourage a student to feel into something they maybe didn't think they were capable of, with the right support and assist, they can realize they're capable of so much more than they initially thought. So we'll be exploring that in headstand, shoulder stand, and wheel. Then we're going to be slowing things down and coming into a yin vibe, looking at how we use our hands to encourage healing and relaxation. We'll do this in a lovely flow through child's pose, pigeon, reclining pigeon, reclining twists. And then we're finishing with Thai massage and extended Shavasana massages. Things that you can use to really treat your students on a one-to-one -one or on retreats. And then we'll close the day with a little bit of chanting on Om Mani Padme Hum to make sure we're wrapping up and managing our energy as well. I am so excited to be sharing this day next Friday with my dear friend and co-teacher, Lauren Gray. I can genuinely promise you it is going to be special. So it's a Friday. Take next Friday off. Get the train, drive down to Southampton and spend the day with other yoga teachers getting spoiled yourself, getting your tank filled with inspiration and things you can share immediately with your students whilst up leveling your teaching skills. I will leave a link so you can read more and book if you'd like to come join us next Friday.